Okay, now we are considering the moment of, for each axis. So we need to consider the moment of inertia about uh, x, y, and z axis. So this is the moment of inertia uh, i x s. We consider it equal to i y y, and we con uh, is equal to i. And for i z z, we consider it i z. So when we consider each uh, uh, moment for each axis, we got this one. So this is the moment for considering the i, uh, and this is the moment when we consider the i z. Same goes to the for x axis, y axis, and z. This is actually the z axis. So, uh, what, why, uh, what's wrong with this uh, trigonometry is uh, there are so many because uh, we are considering the angles. So, this uh, is what happening when the angle is uh, is unknown. So, in order to simplify it, we can consider it. Uh, the angle of mutation equal to 90 degree each moment of summation applies only at the fixed point O or the at the center of mass G of the body so we can continue uh, so because this is a complex problem so we can uh, we can use the actually we can use computer to solve this problem. We can give the angle of the mutation. We can so that and then we can calculate it to find the uh, angular velocity, the overall and the components. As for special case, in order to simplify our calculation, uh, we can consider it as uh, the precession is steady where the angular velocity is constant, no friction, uh, the mutation angle is constant, and the spin all will be constant. So the outcome is this equation where there's no uh, the moment about y and z exists is zero. So z is the the spin. Y is the angle uh, perpendicular to x, uh, the mutation angle, and it's also zero. And moment x is sigma moment x is the only. Uh, exist that have a uh, moment which is the if you look at uh, go back to the picture so y is always perfect uh, perpendicular to the x so there's no nothing uh, if you look at here uh, or look at here the the top is topple uh, parallel to the y angle so there is no moment upon the uh, y axis and if you look at this small x axis uh, the top is has mutation therefore we can have moment upon this x small x axis so the equation is this one after simplification Uh, furthering simplifying, we can uh, yes, we can ignore this uh, this uh, uh, angular velocity because uh, we we said just before this that angular velocity is small. Uh, uh, we can uh, neglect it, and finally we can get this equation. And we want to we want to simplify it more at this uh, rate. 
uh, we have still have a nutrition angle data what what if we uh, make the nutrition equal to 90 degree this what we if we make this top rotating at 90 degree which is the top is situated right here so it will become like this so this is the top we change with the disc and the uh, shaft so it's a very simple equation so when theta is 90 degree the moment about x is iz which is the top uh, the moment of, of initial of the top and pi dot and psi dot or you can change iz uh, moment about x is iz uh, time omega y and omega z if you look at here these three component is uh, mutually perpendicular I'm uh, sorry these three component which is the uh, moment the omega y and omega z is mutually perpendicular if you look if you look at the diagram this is omega y uh, which is uh, parallel to y axis small y axis this is uh, omega z parallel to z axis and this is a uh, sigma mx the moment about x axis which is parallel to small x axis so that's why we, uh, the calculation is very easy so that is the answer of the why the top or the gyro is not falling even though the shaft is horizontal if you look at here this is the pivot and the support and this uh, gyro is not falling so the answer is we have moment the moment is the one that we calculated right here this moment m of x so if you look at here the gravity this is the center of mass is going downward but this moment is rotating against the against this uh, moment so moment against moment and the total moment is zero so this moment but we still have this precision motion therefore this gyroscope will rotate along this precision uh, direction so that is what we call as gyroscopic effect and we need to make sure that the rate of spin is greater than its precisional rate of rotation about the vertical axis which means uh, this rotation should be very high compared to this uh, rotation hence the angular momentum of the gyro can be assumed directed among its axis of spin which is the z axis thus for the gyro roto omega z this one is far bigger than omega y the precession uh, rotation and the magnitude of the angular momentum about 0 0.0 reduced to the form of this one this is the angular momentum which is equal to i z and omega z so you need to remember remember this equation and also the previous equation uh, i z and omega z can be replaced with the angular momentum is not so remember this equation this two uh, this equation and this equation and this equation
Okay, in effect, uh, the change in direction of the gyro's angular momentum is equal to the angular impulse caused by the gyro wave. So now we consider the impulse. Remember, we have momentum, we have impulse. Impulse is the change of momentum. So when we have uh, this uh, uh, gyro placed inside a gimbal, there's two gimbal here where we have bearings. We have bearings right here. So any rotation uh, uh, of the gimbal will not affect the gyro because uh, we have a very low friction at the bearing so that uh, when we rotate this uh, the gyro will maintain its uh, horizontal and also when we rotate this gimbal the gyro also will not affect it uh, it's not totally not affected but uh, has a small effect on the gyro so this is the gyroscope But the difference between this one and uh, the discussion, uh, this one, is this uh, gyro is uh, horizontal and it will, it will precess, it will rotate, it will rotate like this. So this one, it will not precess because it is in uh, horizontal, the shaft is vertical and the gyro is horizontal, therefore it will not process Precise, it will rotate <coughs> continuously in these edges. So this is the the one that we we want. We want to make sure that the disc is constant. The disc is not uh, rotating, and this will be our uh, reference of the horizontal uh, position. So when we put our gyroscope in the aeroplane or ship, we can know. We can make it as a reference for the position of our uh, vehicle. <laughs> Alright, uh, we can continue. So this is the thing that I just said. Now we can go to the example.